If you've ever tried typing on a path in Illustrator, you'll know that it can be an absolute nightmare. This tool is fiddly and it's driven me insane, it's driven my students insane. And if you've tried using it to add text to something like a circle, I'm sure it's probably driven you insane as well. So to stop us all going completely bonkers, in this video, we're gonna open up Illustrator and I'm gonna show you how to use this tool and how to get around some of those little oddities because there are a few. So here you can see I'm in Illustrator and I have a logo mark. This is for Luke's Iced Coffee and I want to turn this into a badge. So we're gonna add some text around the outside. So first of all, let's go and grab the ellipse tool and we'll click and drag holding shift and let's remove the fill color. And well, let's pop this in the center because of course we absolutely have to. In fact, we'll thicken up the stroke weight just so we can see what we're doing. So there we go, congratulations, you've made a circle. This is the easy part. Now we have to do the really annoying bit, but we're gonna make it easier. So what we need to do is go up here to the type tool, click and hold, and go down to type on a path tool. Now, rather than just clicking anywhere, because that's gonna make things considerably more complicated, what we're gonna do is rely on our smart guides. So that command or control U, if you haven't turned them on and you want to look for anchor. So we're going to click right up here at the top central point. Now I'm going to type the phrase Luke's iced coffee and we're going to pick a font right now. Nope, that's font size, Dan. <laughs> Let's do the font new rubric. Oh, which one was it? Oh dear, there's lots. Oh no, bold. Yeah, sure. That looks good. Right now let's bump the size up. Luke's ice creams no coffee down oh dear this isn't a good start is it okay there we go it can only get better from here so we've got luke's iced coffee and we're going to have this a couple of times kind of wrapping round. so let's do a space and we'll go luke's iced coffee not cream scale this up so we're going to keep scaling this until it wraps all the way around there we go now if you do go too far you'll get the red plus and that's kind of says that some of it's hidden so we're going to Go back a few steps. There we go. Nice little gap. Select the main selection tool. And there we go. Luke's iced coffee. Nice and easy. But what if we want to have it just kind of running around the first half? Let's get rid of the second one. Now, the easiest way to get around this sometimes is to press R for the rotate tool, click and drag holding shift and do that. It's just the easiest way. Now you can see it's not quite straight. So what we can do is select everything and then make sure we go to the paragraph panel and then make sure it's centrally aligned. In fact, you can see I probably should have done that first. So we're just gonna rotate this again. And you can see now it's perfectly straight, perfectly level, and I can keep typing if I want, but it just kind of makes it a little bit easier. Now, if you don't want to do that, what you can do is go back and grab this tool again. If you want like a little bit more precision about exactly where everything is, what you can do, see this is where it gets really irritating and fiddly, so. We'll click off, we'll select it again. So you have to switch to the main selection tool. And what we need to do is look for these little arrows. Oh, this is horrible. This tool desperately needs an update. There we go, right, okay. So now what we do is you see we have the cursor with the little left pointing arrow and we have the right pointing arrow. What we can do is click and drag and push this around. I'll see if I can do this for a slightly zoomed out view. There we go. We can actually click and drag to push this around and I'm gonna have to zoom in again. We can do that here as well. It becomes a bit easier once they've been separated, but when they're really close, it's just so fiddly. So if you need to push this round to a very specific angle, something like that, that is how you move effectively the start and the end points. But if you want to just kind of have something that is perfectly on the top half or the bottom half, what you do is you just centrally align everything and then it's just easier sometimes to just rotate the whole circle. Now, if we go back a few steps, to this. What about if you want it running around the bottom? Well, there's a few different ways we could do this, actually. Let's click the circle. There we go. It's this one at the top, this big straight line here. We can click and drag and we could flip it to the inside or the bottom. Now, I would recommend holding shift when doing this, although it does snap to some weird angle. Honestly, this tool is so frustrating. There we go. So we pulled it to the outside. <laughs> You could line this up manually, but now, of course, the text is upside down. So another way around this is what you could do is go back to the type on a path tool, double click to go back inside it, 
check preview. Yeah, we'll flip it and then we'll align it to, I think we'll go for ascender. And then another way around this is we can press R for the rotate tool, click and drag holding shift and rotate it that way. So sometimes you can flip and reposition the text, but other times it's just easier to actually rotate the circle than it is to mess around with this tool because honestly, it can drive you completely bonkers. What we could do now is we could go and just add in our second copy and then just go and change properties like the text color and everything as we would normally. So let's go and change this to Luke's in blue. And let's go and add that down here. We're going to add the same blue. And there we go. We've got that wrapped around a circle. And then we could still go in and edit all of these properties. So if we wanted to kind of bold this up even more or pick a different font, we've still got all of that flexibility. <laughs> so as you can see, incredibly frustrating, but hopefully a little bit easier now. So if you would like to master Illustrator, I've got my full courses linked below. But otherwise, take care and I'll see you in the next one.